it's a fun game, but like the issue, see, here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Much like a game called Pico Park, like a five-year-old can finish this like no problem. But four morons who are in their twenties, like in one kitchen, <laughs> chaos is bound to ensue. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here's what happened on the last episode. <laughs> Glad you liked that. Now, let's get back to the show, shall we? Roll it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Indie Recesses of My Mind, and huh, this has been a long time coming, honestly. If it wasn't for me taking so many hiati hiatuses, that was rightfully deserved, I probably would have had this finished months ago. But, to be fair, I kind of had issues with my partner as well, too, because they had family issues as well, so I can't get mad at them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Life is funny. Really funny. Life just keeps life in, bro. What can you do? Tell me about it. So, finally back on Penny's Big Breakaway. Did you believe we only have three episodes left? Man, that's crazy. Right? It feels like I wasn't here for half of them. Looks like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks, at, looks at playlist of episodes. Right? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like I said, it's not his fault of family issues with her eyes, so you can't control that. But, we can make that up. Yeah. Welcome to the library. <laughs> what the hell? Yes, exactly. So, last episode, I got caught by the, on the penguins, finally, and I got thrown in jail. Damn. This is me breaking out. Seriously, who thought this through? But I thought this was an interesting design, um, level-wise, because it's a cross between a actual library and what looks like an iron steel mill and mm. a courthouse. Because there's lava everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> no one gets in, no one gets out, except for this one bitch with the yo-yo. Right. The most tenacious, tena tenacious version. Sorry, the tenacious version of geeky I think I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying she's not ten. Um, she doesn't have any tenacity. But let's be honest, geeky doesn't look like she wants that much smoke. <laughs> Unless. True. Don't let the Don't let her looks fool you, geeky. I love you to death. I really do. You're like the little sister I've never had. But she is not afraid to come for your ankles. For no reason. <laughs> right. You can just be existing. Like, hey, Matthew, how's it going? Wow, you're old. That's the abridged version of that. Yes. Okay. Followed by screaming into the void. <laughs> right. I love physics. Can't you tell? <laughs> Give me the coin. <laughs> So they introduced a very interesting mechanic here, and I yeah. thought I could. Oh, you can see those bars right there. Now, at first, I thought I could just walk on them. Nope. Exactly. Whoever thought of this level, I thought was having a lot of fun with the fire mechanics. Ow, shit! But maybe too much fun. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not mad at it because it's actually interesting. Who would have thought a library would be so dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not as dangerous as like the librarian monsters inc bro. <laughs> the librarian over there is just is especially like I think a kraken. I remember that. If you're too loud then she throws you out of the fucking library. <laughs> like through the ceiling. Yo, I thought that was wild. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna like, lie. I yeah. actually need to watch Monsters at Work because I heard it was actually hilarious. Man, we gotta change that. <laughs> I'm game, you know I am. Hell yeah. So many burning half pipes. <laughs> I think this was just literally just meant to be like the Alcatraz of Kenny's Big Break Woody. Pretty much. <laughs> no one breaks it nor out. I mean, although, although if that's a comparison, then like Al Capone must be in this universe. <laughs> oh, 
I almost, I thought I was about to die right there, but I just kept going. I'm like, you know what? Nope, I made it. Keep going. This had no right to be this fun. It was kind of <laughs> like terrifying a little bit because I thought I was going to die multiple times, but this had yeah. no right to be this enjoyable. Bro, uh, that's that's the med that's the exact same thing I said about like overcooked. Because mm -hmm. recently I recorded, I did a session yesterday with the guys uh, over in Neurotics. We did like a, a game overcooked, all you can eat. Ooh. Bro, we 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 didn't we've never like in our lives. I've known these guys for like four like three to four three four to five years, right? Mm -hmm. Like I've never had like a session or like at least a, like an hour or two hours of my life go by like where I haven't had like so much like anger and like so much fucking laughter happen like at the same time. <laughs> I'm about to say, last time y'all played something, wasn't it that stick fighting game? Uh, no. Last time we actually played something on Neurotics was uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Uh, like, as a video, that was TMNT Shredder's Revenge. But we're back now, making more content. We got Castle Crashers, and then we also have, uh, what's it called? Like, Overcooked 2. Nice. Oh, Overcooked All You Can Eat. I keep getting them confused. It's a fun game, but like the issue, see, here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Much like a game of Eco Park, like a five year old can finish this, like, no problem. But four morons who are in their 20s, like, in one kitchen, <laughs> chaos is bound to ensue. Especially when half of y'all probably don't even know how to cook. Shit! <laughs> I get it. I completely get it. It's literally, it's literally like the fucking like video representation of who let this man cook. <laughs> <laughs> so never do that again. Never let any of us cook again. <laughs> Ever. It's a dope way. I mean, we did, we did kind of make a joke. We did kind of make a joke that like if we get twenty likes on the video, we'll make a part two. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I mean, it's a fun game, but like it's also very like frustrating, but also very funny. <laughs> Dude, I've seen parties of like let's players just go crazy on that game so i get yeah. it i get it yeah it's open it, says me the part is <laughs> open says me see the funniest thing about like that game is like it was my idea <laughs> listen man my brain comes up, comes up with ideas for content <laughs> weren't y'all talking about refunding the game too <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> i'm keeping it I don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about <laughs> I'm keeping it. This is the third one yes. everything, right? Uh, wait, uh, I think so, yeah. Third game. Okay. Because I remember... It's like a mix between like the first and second. Ah. Uh, yeah. Because oh, I think a while back, I got overcooked on... <coughs> I think the Epic Store a while back? I'm going to have to go back and double check. Yeah. Back. I know I got the game moving out, which is just as crazy. Mm-hmm. Because imagine trying to like get somebody out of their house by any means necessary, even if, even if it means destroying that house. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what we did. Like I remember one one part of that session was just like, bro, we had we had like two sides of the kitchen and like this narrow ass hallway, and it was one narrow ass hallway. Four guys cannot move around in that kitchen. <laughs> We all started ye yelling at each other, and I literally told him, like, bro, it's not as bad as, like, this one kitchen. Bro, can you imagine a kitchen that's, like, built as one hallway? That's it. Dude, I'm still laughing, because, like I said, I saw some gameplay. Imagine that one kitchen where it's actually on the back of two moving trucks. Oh, God. The one kitchen on a pirate ship was, like, hell. We should, I think we repeated that one level, like, four times. Thick boy penguins! Oh, God! Oh, God, Rotten. They're coming! <laughs> They're asserting dominance, run! <laughs> oh god. It's like us when we were um, ganged up on Ge on B Breath <laughs> Momocon. <laughs> oh no. It was for I, dude, I, when I I promised you that she would get air jail when I saw her. I hugged her, <laughs> she didn't touch the ground for like a good four minutes. Aww. It was adorable. Aww. Hey, she was our last guest on this uh, um on this while you were gone, so she enjoyed herself. <laughs> of course she did. Wait! Like, bro, literally, bro, that one kitchen has, like, a narrow-ass hallway. Like, bro, it is one giant hallway. Like, a square hallway. There's no rooms. Just one hallway that's a kitchen. Jesus Christ. Like, it reached, it reached a point where we kept getting in our ways, like, in, in each other's ways so much, where I literally just said, like, we were playing with Unlisted, right? And I literally just said, Unlisted, if you don't get out the fucking way, I'm gonna kill your whole family. <laughs> oh, shit! Hey, I'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man, <laughs> what kind of prison is this, man? Are you in the sewers? Uh oh. Oh god, you got this, Mephi, you got this. God, this is tense, bro. This is tense. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit. I swear I'm good at video games. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it from that point of view, but I swear I am. <laughs> Bro, what kind of prison is this man teleporting through books to get to the other sides of them? Ooh, you didn't look at the um the episode of Venraco guest start. So there are certain <laughs> books that allow you to actually teleport if you open the right one. Damn. <laughs> I call it the Cosmic like, Library. Whoever designs this fucking like prison <laughs> had a field day with this one. Oh yeah. You enter book one to get, you, to, get to floor three, and then enter book four, book six to end a floor four, four, floor two. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a foster's home for imaginary friends' house, bro. Tell me about it. Uh, me and my dad were talking about that recently. Cause he was telling somebody that he was really cool, um, cool with at one of the stores that apparently. The ending was kind of dark because apparently it was all in Frankie's head, and I was like, "I remember that's a theory. thing like that." But yeah, that's that's a very popular fan theory. It's like it's like similar to how Madame Foster was pretty much Frankie's imaginary friend because her grandma actually like died in the in the series. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> yeah, that, very let's... dark. Yes. I believe that because let's be honest. Um... People don't like so if you don't really pay real close attention to false home for imaginary kids, it deals with trauma in a weird way. Yeah. And mm -hmm. tried to make it as like pleasant as possible, but there are some really fucked up things that happen if you stop and put two and two together, like, wait a minute. So ultimate purposes, we're creating new life through our imagination and sometimes we can't even control said new life and a lot of other shit pops off. It's like something about feel like it's a coping mechanism, that's my opinion, but yeah. You think oh. that's bad? Fucking so, so you can literally just like imagine like a piece of Fuck. food and just eat it, like eat a whole, like mm -hmm. like tails in that one episode. <laughs> I'm gonna imagine a pizza. How do you do? I love you. <laughs> Look, he eats the whole thing. Uh, I thought that was terrible. I thought that was traumatizing too. Yeah. Run, bro, run. She said, "Screw this bike." <laughs> Although, although I will give a props to having like pretty much, I think one of like the first actual like examples of like uh, ADHD like rap <laughs> in animation with goo. I was about to say either goo De definitely. Or the either goo or cheese. Nah, I mean, because cheese is like an imagine. Eh, yeah, technically, I just kind of see goo more as like an autistic rap because you know, and also like ADHD rap because well, she's imagined like more than nine hundred imaginary friends in like one episode. <laughs> mm -hmm. That ain't good. Ooh, you're a little plane? What if you match like small little people that actually have to ride and go from country to country? Like, yo, chill! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> yo, geeky. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yo, can we go ahead and just talk about like the goat of all the uh, imaginary friends being Walt and Eduardo? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Eduardo is my child. <laughs> Damn. He's just Kang. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's, like, He's a Spanish fight. king. <laughs> He's like, I'm not trying to fight nobody. <laughs> Unless you cross me! Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so that reminded of like that one joke from like a, a video I saw like long ago. Fucking some guys were playing Minecraft together. It's just like, you made an ally for life. Thank you. Unless you've crossed me! <laughs> right. That's basically me. I'll get along with anybody <laughs> until you do something that makes me uh, makes you unworthy in my eyes. You can be like, damn. Me. So I can be the most pleasant person in the world, or I can be your worst nightmare. And folks, this and, and folks, he's known me for like two years, so like that's how that's how much you can fucking imagine. Like you've got to do something terrible to actually piss me off. Oh yeah, there's been a few friends. I'm not gonna name names because I don't yeah. really want to put them on blast, and I don't want anybody. 
to go after and crucify them because mm -hmm. they're suffering enough. But yeah. let's just leave it as I hope, despite everything, that you're okay. Just don't ever talk to me shit again. <laughs> Woohoo! Our case is saved. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I've been helping lawyers the entire time and criminals. <laughs> I think like the bathrooms in here are also like instead of water and like the toilets, there's actually just just there's just lava. <laughs> Dude, that that must be one of the most horrifying smells in the world. Think about it for a second. Yeah, second. it's straight sulfur. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Come on, baby. I didn't need that anyway. <laughs> wow. Whoever made this had a field day, and they know mm -hmm. it. I was gonna do a joke talking about tipping scales and stuff like that, but I can't quite come up with a good name for like, this episode. Well, yes, yeah. people. Well, yes, people, I'm coming up with a name for this episode, mid-episode. <laughs> Ah, uh, the creativity that comes with being a YouTuber. Come on, Rock. Do you guys honestly think that we come up with everything, like, early on? Hell no. No. Also, Everything's last minute. Everything. Also, fuck this puzzle. Hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause I gotta get all four pieces of evidence. Damn. I got one right- like, two already, but that last one is the one that's gonna cause me the most pain. Well, I should have said caused me the most pain. Ugh. Damn. Dude, you have no idea. I had you to do this part six times. I'm not <laughs> Jeez. I had to cut a lot of those deaths that like, oh god. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Just put like a little death counter on there. <laughs> I thought about doing that. I really but did. But nice. <laughs> I was like, nah, this is going on long enough. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> also, this beat kind of goes hard. Yes, sir. Damn you, T-Lopes. Nephi, don't do it. Nephi, don't do it. <laughs> you don't need that coin. Nephi. Look at damn it! Nephi, you don't need that coin. Nephi, you don't need that coin. Uh, yeah, no, I, don't think he, I don't think he's got that coin, folks. <laughs> pass Meffy, stop. Okay, pass Meffy, go. What oh, the shit. fuck? What the fuck? I don't know, but I don't know what happened right there. <laughs> Who cares? It was luck. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Fucking penguins! Ah! Thick boy penguins. Chibi penguins. <laughs> the most terrifying of all. Wheel penguins. <laughs> they all look so lost when they fall apart. Like, eh. <laughs> Maybe because they're like just stuck in a fucking balloon to get there for so long. <laughs> Alright, I wouldn't be surprised if half more unconscious when they come out. Let's me do my acrobatics in peace. Woo! I have a love-hate relationship with this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Oh god! Oh god! I can ask cheeseburger. You goddamn right, I can. Move. <laughs> He kept that last guy holding up for hope for a second. <laughs> now I'm gonna get her, guys. <laughs> said, don't worry, don't worry, big homie. I got. Oh god. <laughs> I think we should be close to the boss because I think this is either four or three levels. Hopefully, we are.
to the boss is actually interesting because you don't directly fight them per se. I mean, you do, but yeah. Yeah, here he is, Judge Rufus. The toucan Sam, son of a bitch himself. Uh Aiding the penny. Wow. I mean, courthouse chaos. Didn't y'all like fail? Didn't y'all like send penguins after the entire time? Hey, really? <laughs> Without a fair trial. <laughs> Over a misunderstanding. Serial reoffense. Okay, to, to be fair, y'all came from me. You literally sent like 10 billion penguins after <laughs> And I tried to casually talk to your, um, your emperor multiple times. He wanted smoke. Scales of justice. <laughs> the crimes will be waiting for all to see. <laughs> wow. Wait, what do you mean right to dodge? What, what do you mean by that? That court is now in session. Oh no. Wait, what do you mean by. Oh, right. So. Yeah, so a this happened. Moments later. I didn't know how the mechanics worked at first, but Damn. I rectified that. So, I mean, what you yeah, do I mean, is, that's fair. So, what you want to do is. I mean, what did he, he really throwing the book at you. <laughs> yeah, so what you want to do is get to him as cl close as possible, then steal his gavel. I had the smartest idea possible, so okay. I have to break all of them, but if I break if you break one, it's gonna automatically start the fight back over. So I did. what I did was I start breaking them all piece by piece, running around to dodge the light. <laughs> nice <laughs> strategy right there. Right. So that way when it's time to get to like deal the final blow, I can just pink. Look at her go! Honestly, this was one of the easiest bosses well, after I figured out and turned my brain on what to do. Yeah. He ain't like that. The only thing that sucks about this is when they drop health, the health disappears quickly. So you gotta yeah. literally be right there next to him so you can grab one of those um those ice those ice cream pops. God damn it! Give me that. This cannot be. Nobody escapes justice. <laughs> Not the pen. <laughs> Who's who thought that through? Oh, oh shit! I forgot about that part. Here's where the fun starts. Oh shit! <laughs> now you see oh, why. Shit. Now you see why I said it was a smart idea to go ahead and start breaking, chipping it piece by piece. Give me that. Wow, okay. <laughs> this man about to pull up 180. <laughs> that will always be absolute, okay. Sir, are you okay over there? I don't think he is. <laughs> I think he had a bit of an issue. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing?
I love how he puts two and two together after a while. Like, hold on a second. Miss Phone, okay. Oh yeah, that's been her, her nickname the entire time. <laughs> I like how it took this long for motherfuckers to put two and two together. Right! I would even grant you a spot on stage at the gala, okay? If. She's going, like, yay! Shut. She's a but. There's always a but. <laughs> She's like, hell no! Nah. Yo, chill! It's a living creature, mama, man! <laughs> it was literally just born. It didn't know no better. She said, and I'm out this hoe. Arrest these criminals, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, he looks upset. <sighs> oh, forgive me. After I did all the editing, I thought I'd just come and relax. Didn't realize I kind of drifted. <laughs> but if you're new here, why don't you subscribe? I have a lot of new content coming down the road. But if you've been here before, here's a random playlist of something I've done and the most recent thing I've done here too. Take care.